All right, guys. Hello and welcome back to Battle Cats. This is the Omnius Crab. You know, welcome back if you've seen me before. Hello if you're a new fan. Um, and today we are going to complete Stories of Legends 2 stars. Now, the way this works is like every Stories of Legends stage, there's a lot of stages that are on the stars and some aren't. Like you can see Autumn equals Sports Day is star. The other ones aren't starred. If it's starred, then you can do it again and it'll just be like 20% stronger. Like everything is buffed a little bit more. And then it's supposed to be a challenge. Like if you could hardly beat a stage because it was that strong, beating it in two stars is going to sound impossible. So I have managed to do all of Stories of Legends, two stars up until here, the legend ends. So today we're going to do it together because as most of you guys know, after you beat a star difficulty in Stories of Legends, it gives you a platinum ticket, like the best thing in the game. So big incentive. This doesn't look too hard. I assume this will be one of the easier ones. Freezing Cappy does seem like a good idea, but I don't even know if I pulled it off without Apple Cat's true form. So now instead of you, I can just put Phonoa. Sorry, you've been replaced. Let's see what else. Maybe put you. There's no place for Bahamut in this match, literally. Um, I could throw in Amaterasu. Sea Serpent Dallasan. I've been using him a lot. He's great. Um, maybe instead of you, I don't think I had any crowd controllers, so I don't think I need any crowd controllers. And then I'll see how this goes. Dallasan is so good. He's surprisingly durable with a few knockbacks. Or maybe he just has good knockbacks. He might be fragile, as most snipers are. But I used him in a zombie stage, and he tanked a good bit of knockbacks. So I know him as good. So boom, there's a Cappy. And now there is the Camel. Camel outranges Dastly, annoyingly enough. So I'll just stall until I can get Castly out. And then use Cappy as a stepping stone. Only thing is, I don't want to let them push too hard in order to do that. So boom. All right. Oh, you know who might be good here? Metal Cat. Uh, yeah, actually. Just because it seems like that actually make it pretty easy. If I use my newest super rare, I got three good super rares, although one is kind of bad. I got Metal Macho, I got Cat Base Jr., and I got Headmaster Cat Jobs. Headmaster Cat Jobs and Metal Ca Macho Cat are like two of the best super rares, best... Two of the most useful units that you're going to find in the game. Because what they both do is very unique. I also got Cat Base Jr. This guy's pretty worthless. Not much more to say there. He's kind of worthless, sadly. Wish he was better, but... It was back when wave units were rare, and now they're just so common. So, boom, I'll send out my Metal Macho, and he can tank 12 hits, I believe. Although Cappy does have critical hit, I just remembered. I doubt that'll come into play. I swear, if he critical hits him first shot. No! Bro, you are not being for real right now. He, he just... That was the only way that he could have one-shot metal. And he one sh Okay, just ridiculous. He actually one-shot him in the only way that he can be one-shot. I completely forgot that he can do critical hits. All right, so maybe he wasn't as perfect as I wanted him to be, but he's still doing great. Like, he's tanking more than one hit from Cappy. That's as much as you're going to get. So, boom, I got to get these angels off of me, because if I don't have meat shields in between her and Cappy, she'll die. So, boom. Yep, it looks like regardless of being able to tank forever because of that critical hit, he is still tanking very long. And, boom, using... Cappies as a stepping stone is working out pretty well. I can destroy the Cappies, but I kind of need them as stepping stones. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. We'll see how this goes. So boom, just keep it moving. Oh my gosh, it's so cool to finally have um, Metal Macho though. I've wanted him for so long. So boom. All right. Now Camel is back into range of Castly. So boom. All right. Camel's getting hit by that surge, and Camel died. Okay, easy, easy match. I thought this would be a lot harder. Thankfully, it wasn't. I'm not complaining.
Boom, they look so cool. Three massive DPS snipers. Three of the best units in the game. If you want sniping, if you want damage, I just got them all three. This is overkill and I love it. Also, one thing that I always forget about because it kind of rarely comes into play is Dallasan's Savage Blow. It like instant kills really anything. So boom, all right, I'm doing great. There wasn't any floating enemies, but I actually have constructed the anti-floating base style. If anyone knows what that means, I'll just show you after this. So that should help me. Um, just because floating is like the most common trait in the game. Don't quote me on that, but it's like the one you run into most. Just because there's the most cross-trait floating, you know? Like there's a good few floating aliens, floating enemies, float... What are the traits in this game? Yeah, floating aliens, zombies, angels, black enemies. There aren't... Relics and Aku enemies are unique in that even though some of them are floating, they don't count as floating so that you don't have as many counters for them, which is kind of weird. It just means that like you'll see like a floating Aku enemy and you'll bring anti-floating enemies, allies, and it won't work. Oh, same thing with angels. No, it's okay. It's angels and Aku enemies. That's true for. I think relic floatings might still count as floatings. This, I think I might have rushed this stage. Those look like rushers, but I can't be sure. Did I rush this stage? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. I'll just use this team. I do want rushers. I don't actually want too many backliners. Is very correct. So I'll just put in Izu, the Dancer of Grief. I hope he'll do better. If if this is a stage that I need to rush, I'll switch the strategy after. Definitely want Macho Metal. He's now going to be one of my favorite things to just have on every team, whether he's good or not. So I'm going to put you in there. In fact, I, I really think he's quite bad for this stage. Yeah, never mind. He's awful for this stage. Both of those enemies are like super fast attack rates. So he's not going to work there. Let's see. What do I have that I can just put in? Maybe you? No. He's too slow. Hmm. Very unique stage, I'll say. Um... I guess I'll just put you in after. Yeah, I don't lose anything by it. So, we'll see. I'm just... I really don't know if I've rushed this stage or not. If I did rush the stage, then I will need Bahamut. I'll just bring Bahamut. Nope, he is not a uber sprayer, despite what he looks like. Do do do. Gonna go get Bahamut. And I also do have Cat God the Golden now, because I did beat Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 2 off screen. I wanted to beat it in a video, but I guess I'll just have to settle for beating Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 3 as a video. So. Let's see what this match gives us. All right, there's you. Just send out Rowcat painfully slowly. All right. I can send out a second before he even reaches him. Now, Rowcat can solo, not like one unit solo, but like he can eventually solo. Um, Matt, Professor A is what he's called, but it takes a while. So, yep, there's that big old boar. And we are just going to permafreeze you. Thank you. All right. And permafreeze? Yes. All right. So we've got him permafrozen. I don't know if we have to kill him before. Rainmaster shows up, or Professor A is what he's called. So I'll just send them out. Um, Rich Cat actually does have good DPS. Pretty insane damage for what he does, considerably. But he's really not that good other than a combo slave, so people never use him. Alright, I've got him out. Maybe? Oh, 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 hold on. This might be easy. Easy in a way. Okay. We're safe right now. 
things could go south really quick. So we're just going to hope that they don't. All right. Yes, another can can made it in there. Boom. And he's dead. Okay. That was easier than expected. Wasn't crazy easy, but it wasn't that hard. So boom, you're in range and destroying the tacky and destroying the rain master. No, I cannot tank very more attacks from you. Do not do this. Do not do this. All right. Here, let's knock you back because you are attacking the base. Okay. Okay. I think they're out of range now. Hopefully if they're not, I'm doomed. Yes. All right. Match one. You thank goodness. So boom, all of my chips are just in row cat soloing the match now, I guess. So boom. Yeah. I don't think Dastly's going to do much anymore. Yeah. She's pretty, pretty broken right now. Yep. She gets knocked back bullied right before her four swing ends. She gets knocked back again. That's such a shame. So boom, got a row cat stack going. Granted, it's not massive. But they're doing the job. So, boom, boom. All right. Kind of want a Bahamut out there, but I don't think I can save up for him fast enough. I saw a Bahamut once land a hit on Raying Master, but I might have just been lucky. So, boom. All right. I really don't need to send anything other than this guy because no one is going to make it to him. Look, I'm hardly making any cash when it comes into them, but finally they've stacked and I've won the match. So boom, send out Bahamut and destroy the base. All right, that match, all of these matches are pretty tricky, but very fun to play. So boom, just going to destroy the base now. All right, got my row stack protecting me. Yeah, I'll just call it there. Bahamut has crazy DPS, like 30k. So, boom, and this stage is destroyed. All right, what's next? Some of these stages might be pretty hard to beat without refreshing my memory on what they do. So I'm not afraid to go in there and fail and then do it again. So boom, legend ends. The glory of glories. Okay. I remember this stage being a lot easier than the first salamander stage was. You just gotta kind of rush it. So... Boom. I'm gonna switch you. I'm gonna... I really don't think you did much here. I think I have much better anti-zombies now. As in... I have... Yeah, I have a lot of good... Wow. I'm so much better now. I Well, I mean, I've got a lot more broken Ubers, but I definitely am technically better. So, Gang Leon... Yeah, that might be the only thing I need to change. I think this just spawns tons of salamanders. You're not actually supposed to fight them. You're supposed to beat the match before they show up. So I'll just throw in a you in there for fun, and we'll see how this goes. All right. Ganglion is one of the few counters for Zamel. I remember the first time I played it, I was able to actually just rush down Zamel and destroy the base. So let's see. How is this going to go? I'll just start spawning you so I don't lose the front line too soon. All right. There's a lot of stoic birds in the background, I will say. Boom. Metal Macho out there to just go ham. And I'm going to spawn a few more meat shields because you go very fast. All right, so watch. If one more spawns, one more sal salamander, then I was right. So boom. I don't know if that hit him, but I'm really hopeful it did. Boom. All right. No, I meant to bring Holy Blast. Dang it. That always happens. So he's rushing back. He's doing another attack. Wow, dead that quickly. All right, I was right. This is a stage you can easily rush. You do not want to let that salamander reach your base. Almost no matter what magnification, he'll one-shot your base. Maybe you can use Professor Cat Jobs. I haven't tried it out yet, but that might actually break it. I didn't have him before, though, so that guy, Salamander, was hell to fight. 
So boom, yeah, just got three rushers, and it's dead. Ganglion looks so cool. All right, so funny that the Dragon Emperors are kind of just inspired by Bahamut. So is Ganglion, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, my boy Ganglion. Do do do. True might check first. Oh, first Emperor and founder of Dragon Dynasty. All right, cultivated. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. All right, so what is this next stage gonna bring us? Moment of serenity. Yes, sir. All right. For those of you guys who might remember, I have unlocked the best anti-angel. So this stage is like a joke to me. So now the stage is like a joke to me because I have... I don't know why I didn't copy this the first time. I have... Let's do this. Unlocked the legend rare, Ushiwakamaru. Now, which form should I use? I want to say the big form. Because there's a lot of angels with range, so I don't know. I'm gonna go with first form. Should I? Yeah, the stack is just unbeatable. I'm actually gonna replace Courier because there's really no need for him with her. Then I'm gonna throw in Mitama. Take out you because there's a lot of angels with range. Anything with low range isn't gonna do well here. I'm gonna put in you, and I'm going to put in Dallas San. I'm just using the OP ones. All right. This this loadout is pretty uber carry, but I just want to have fun, you know? I'm destroying this stage, all of these stages, and the legend ends. So, I could just send out Ushiwakamaru's, and it wouldn't solo the stage only because... Well, first off, there's too many angels to solo. I still need support. And second off, Winged Piggies, um, the, the angel pigs, have like 10% weaken, and they can infinitely chain that. So you really don't want close range to be fighting them. Unless you have Castly on your side. So I'm going to send out Castly. Going to keep spamming these guys. I just need uh, Mitama to send out next. So just got to keep spamming these guys. Sorry if there is noise in the background too. My neighbors are being loud. But what am I going to do? So boom. All right. And I've triggered the boss fight. So, one funny thing is Borafim gets, like, destroyed by Ushiwakamaru's because they're that strong. Now, I have Borafim permanently. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. That might have been what I needed the... Okay. Hmm. Hopefully, I win. But it's not looking too great right now. Boom. All right, got him knocked back. I really maybe should have kept Sanzo now that I'm thinking about it. So, as long as I can kill Winged Piggy fast enough, I might still be good. Ooh, she doesn't have very many more knockbacks left in her. Castly, ooh, that is bad. That is bad. Alright, because now all of these Ushiwakamarus are doing no damage. Oh, all right. I might have still won anyways. All right. And now the other way to deal with him, if you don't curse Winged Piggy, is to, of course, just destroy them with something that can outrange their effect. And Phonoa perfectly matches that bill. So does a few others, but not too many others. And look at that. Even though Sunfish Jones are usually buffed enough to, like, one-shot things, Ushiwakamaru survive because they have resist. They'll live about as long as a ramen will. They might have a little bit more health, a little bit less, give or take. But it's like, still, they are very tanky against angels. Look at that. None of them even got knocked back. So, yeah, easy stage. I love how slow this guy is. This makes him feel so cool. Oh, look, he's got a little cat on his tail. All right. So, Dallas San. Just making his way there very slowly. Oh, yeah, and I uh, beat the match. All right. I was getting distracted by how cool he looks. He's like one of my newer Ubers. I do get that Fonoa probably outclasses him in everything but traitless. But together, I'm more interested in having like two Castleys than which Castle is better. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he is real good. False Robe. I remember this stage looking a lot scarier than it is. 
So let's see what team I use to beat it. Yeah, this doesn't even look like too hard of a team. I just had close rangers. You definitely won't help, I'll be honest. I might have put him in there just to see if he'd help. So boom, I can give you your true form. I can leave you, maybe replace you with something better. Let's see. I do have now... Oh no. I was about to say, I'm gonna get Mighty Recon Core. I don't have him yet, but that's the power of tree seed tracking for you. I'm gonna put you in there, and I'm gonna put... I do want Mitama, but only if she's fast enough to actually get in there. If she's not, she'd be pointless. Should I? Hades is gonna be carrying the match, so I can't replace him. Can't replace you, can't replace you. I'll try it without her. You don't always need to, you know, use all your OP Ubers, even though I already am. So, let's do this. Very scary looking crowd, I'll be honest. Alright, just gotta stall for that guy. Oh, there's the dolphin too. Yeah, they're kind of annoying because they attack a weird range. So, boom. Luckily, they're not doing much. Although, I do note that they have a very annoying tendency because they have, like, infinite... Oh, word fart. They have infinite knockbacks, essentially. So, boom, I'm just going to start Bahamuting you and see if that helps or goes bad. So, boom. Oh, I should probably... Hmm. I should have sent out more meat shields, but what am I going to do now? So, oh, he got slowed. That is unfortunate. Attack, Bahamut, attack. No. He's just standing there menacingly. Dang it. All right, so I lost the front line. Still, I think this is a win. I'm going to send out Izu. A lot more suited for this since he has, like, immunity to knockbacks as a rusher with great DPS. Only thing is, he can be pretty flimsy, but he does have good cooldown. And when strengthened, he has Bahamut level DPS. Only against traded, though. There aren't many traded enemies in this match. And by that, I mean there was one. Ooh, I might have lost. All right, so. Um, dang it, I'll just restart. So. Now I know what to change. So. All right, so having fought it, I was definitely right about wanting, like, close-ranged a melee ubers because if you let them push back then you're as good as gone so hades is the right choice you're not going to do anything sorry phonoa sorry dasly yeah no they stand in the range so very bad choices teacher bear maybe he might be too slow but they might be just enough and then one cat i definitely want here is of course the one the only metal macho cat where he is I don't know, but I could just go here and click the metal ability. There's only two cats in the game with it. Maybe more, but I don't have them. So, here they are. Only thing that would kill Metal Cat in this stage is Bun Bun. So, only spawn him after he's dead and I'm good. So, let's see. You are pretty useless here. Who could I bring instead? I wonder. Maybe you. I'm gonna bring you. No? Yes? Uh... If them pushing is the problem, I'll just bring Cat and Vendor. And we'll see how this team does. Should beat it. A lot of times in my old stages, I don't know what was useful and what was not. Like, Dasly probably did nothing last time I beat this stage. So, this time I know better. And I'll send out you. I'll actually just send out you. Because you will do a lot better until that Bun Bun Flying shows up. But when that happens, I have Izu to send instead of Bahamut. Izu is really a traded Bahamut at heart. Alright, so boom. Now, it would work to send Hades out first, but I'd rather kill Bun Bun and then not have to deal with his DPS first. Little Bun Bun, that is. So, boom, alright. And, no, he's not dead yet. But Izu is, like, knocking him back with every hit. So I'm doing pretty good. I forgot about you. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, nothing I could have done about that. They're pushing too hard. Man, this stage is not even that hard. It's very... Ah, uh, it's annoying when this happens. 
So boom, knock you guys back. Um, he is not a traitless enemy, Bun Bun Flying. And I might have lost. All right. So, ah, uh, that is so frustrating. So, I will just replace you with you. I need to stop them when they're closer to their base over closer to mines. Because once they're close to mines, it's impossible to hold them off since they have a lot of high rangers. Plus, good thing about Zamboni is that he has a lot of immunities. So, he won't get slowed on his way there. And boom, he is also immune to wave, although I still think he tank he took damage from the single target on the wave. So I'm just gonna send you out. I'm going to after that. The mole has annoying damage. It's not actually a lot, but it's enough to be annoying. So I'm gonna send out. It'd be crazy if I could perma stall these two with him. No, I couldn't. So Boom, just gonna keep meat shielding now. I'm ready for it. All right, and, okay, I'm outside of that toad's range of fire, at least. Bro, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. and, yes! All right, so I, ugh, I was able to get the assassin bear off of me. That is a big win. So he is dead. I'll send out Hades to hold the ground because he is immune to slow but not freeze. If he gets perma frozen, I'm ooh, I'm I'm screwed. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but he's also immune to knockbacks. Alright, he's floating on in there. And he got perma frozen. That's just great. Well, I need Henry to move more forward. Um, is this going to work? Maybe. I really don't think Hades is going to out-survive a little bun-bun. So, Hades might not, but with Izu, he'll have enough DPS. All right, activate Izu's strengthen all you want. That is only going to help me. Boom. All right, and boom, boom. All right, he's dead, he's dead. So I've gotten rid of that problem only to have assassin bear. Are you for, wow, this stage is hell. Okay, so lost again, sadly, but it's definitely not impossible. It's just annoying I keep slipping up. Ugh, all right, so let's see, it's, always strange on which stages trip you up because i definitely don't remember struggling this hard on this one so i essentially have the same line out load out maybe i will be able to slip dastly in there it seems like it might be a little bit luck based but i'll go for it sadly dastly is not the one with immunities to slow and curse that no slow and freeze that is also asuka lee or asuka lee Asuka Castley, yes, that's her. She is not immune to those things, so I'll just have to get lucky with the timing. We'll take our chances. Let's do it. We cannot spend too long. Oh, no, hold on. I just straight up forgot to put her in. So I'll just fix that real quick. Put you in. And turns out, Hades could survive a long time. So that is not actually the concern. I'll just put you. I accidentally untrue formed you. It's not satisfying unless you're sitting in true form. All right. So, Cat Dastly, let's send her out first might be the key. Send you out and then send you out. So, boom. Caught you. Just stalling with these very immortal boys. My thing is, yeah, the mole probably could hit Castly. So maybe I wait for Bun Bun to push. Alright, because I want to face Bun Bun, not the other ones. Alright, so boom. 
getting those guys out of there. Whoa, and he's dead. Okay, good. Next time, I need to save my cat cannon. Please stop forgetting that. Okay. The bird is ha going ham, but I mean, that's... Sorry if it's, like, very loud, but that's just what birds do. No, I cannot get permafrozen here. Okay. Hmm. Not much I can do right now. Why? How is that still not in her range? That's insane. The second they're in her range, she gets, like, permafrozen or whatever. Alright, so... She's dead. She got good damage off, but that's not really going to do anything. Unless I send out Izu. And Izu can do something. Oh, not looking great. And I wasted the cannon. Hmm. You know what? Dang. Alright, well, I'm not going to do this forever. So I'm just going to waste the cat food here and just do it again. All right, I'm just going to send out almost everything. Get rid of the fast ones first, because these guys are the nuisances. Boom. All right. All right, nobody... Okay, they didn't make it. Castly and Little... What is his name? Oh, that's very interesting because I forgot about it. Um, cat, cat's in a cradle. That's his name. Cat's in the cradle is immune to freeze, not to slow though. So he's making his way over here, but he's probably gonna die anyways. So, boom, Hades. Oh, Hades, can you withstand it? Can you kill this little bun? Luckily, Hades is at his best if he's against an opponent who doesn't have too many knockbacks but little bun bun is not really the right one for that so let's see they've all been pushed to one area i don't know if there's still a little bun in there something is doing damage but which one is it all right so half of my army is just getting perma frozen all right but the other half is doing real good right now so Bahamut did some great work against the enemy. All right, all right. This just... Okay, Hades, you just need to last until he's dead. All right, good job. So, he's not really getting attacked by anything but the mole, and the mole isn't exactly a big damage dealer. So, I've pushed. This is going well. I mean, I did have to waste cat food, but what do you want? So then, send out another cat in the cradle. Don't get stuck in the same spot. Please? And he is through. He got through. Okay, good. Second cat in the cradle. Worked. Boom. All right. Got that powerful wave off. Do not perma slow Bahamut. And boom. I look golden right now. All right. Good thing cats in the cradle does have great tanking potential. Where he's not actually like a designated tank, but he's got some pretty good tanking ability. So, Castly made it, finally. Great that she could make it to the party. Alright, and... Boom. I cursed them. And they're dead. Okay, good. Finally. How was that the hardest stage here? I mean, okay. I say how was that, but this stage is horrific. So... Phew. Alright, we did it. Sadly, I didn't bring any wave shields, so it got torn apart. All of that? And it's more dangerous to have them on your side of the base, right? But if you fight them too close to theirs, you'll get torn apart by the waves. This is an awful stage. Oh my gosh. Alright, so. We beat it. False resurrections. That was a tough one. So. How many more stages do we have left? Not Laboratory of Relics. I already did that one two stars because it was easy. Goblet of the Oath. Whoa. That kind of looks silly. So. It looks hard, but I know that Gravy can mostly solo it. So I'm just going to take you out. I'm going to put in Phonoa. You phone know him, you phone love him, you know. So, boom, put him in there. I don't think Cat Machine is the most necessary. 
but it doesn't hurt. Otherwise, I think that's just the team I'll go with. Looks like a very easy stage in comparison, only because I have so many counters. I have a lot of wave immune, wave block. I have a lot of shield breaker, just because gravity is like a, such a broken shield breaker. So hopefully easy match. So boom, I'll just send out Octopus and you. All right, I can already get Gravy out there. It didn't reach, so I won't be able to break his shield until like the second shot. So boom, your shield is broken. Waves are blocked right now. Yeah, he's not doing very well. Hopefully though, he doesn't attack Gravy because he'll wipe out Gravy in a few hits. I do have a nice octopus stack, so that's not the worry. I just gotta make sure he doesn't attack Gravy. Good thing he is getting slowed by Can Can, and I think I've accumulated enough Can Cans to knock him back pretty well. All right, Fonoa, one thing I love about him, he's fast. All right, Dasly is great, but she takes a very long time to reach the front lines. So Fonoa, boom, all right, your waves are getting completely blocked. Yeah, this would be a pretty difficult stage, but I just have a lot of useful counters. And boom, Goblet of the Oath wiped out. And I got the extra XP that is technically a chance in a lot of these stages, but you never get it. So Twilight Zephyr. Now, this is not as bad as it looks. I know, it looks pretty bad, but they come out one by one. So I am just going to use the same strategy I used last time. Most times, I try and switch up who I used. I guess I'll switch you for Dallasan, my man. And switch... Yeah, I'll just switch you for Dallasan. Actually, no. I'm going to switch you for Izu. And then switch you for Dallasan. Good thing about Izu is he's not going to do too much damage to the base like Bahamut will. I want Dallasan because a lot of these enemies are traitless, so it's not going to be in my favor to use a trait-only attacker. Alright, I've got a critical hitter for the metal. I've got meat shields for the big bird. I've got everything in this thing covered for the most part. Looks like I'm good. Alright, we'll just do it. If I beat it the first time, I'll beat it now. This time I didn't mess up my team like I did on the other rounds. So, let's see who comes out first. And I'll just start stacking according to whoever comes out first. I'm pretty sure it is the... Yeah, I knew it was a red something. Alright, so it's a red floating head with Sanzo and... um, That red kicker woman. Can Can. I don't know how I ever forgot her name. With Can Can and him and Sanzo on my side, it should be pretty easy. So, boom. Alright. Got them weakened, got them meat shielded. And then Can Can is just doing crazy damage with each kick. So, boom, all right. And I'll send out Dasly. She is a long range attacker, which is pretty bad because the bosses might come out twice if she long ranges too much, which is why I really don't have a stack of the, oh, okay. He was just there to wipe out my stack. So, boom, yeah, this is might be bad because as I said before, she's a long-range attacker, so she's going to hit the base. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have wasted that, but I really should have also brought a better cannon. So, boom, alright. She might kill him. I really can't tell. If she can't kill him next hit, then he won't die. Alright, he died. Good stuff. I don't know which boss comes out next, but either way, if they can't be countered by Sanzo, then I might be screwed. All right. It's you. Good thing I sent out a wave blocker. All right. And as I said before, he is a traitless enemy, so Fonoa wouldn't have done anything here. Boom. All right. Boom. He's getting pretty bullied. But these are some very strong allies. One thing about Dallasan, he is not wave immune. So never bank on him 
being able to survive waves. He just will not. All right, here is the metal one. Didn't really bring anything for metal other than Jurassic Cat because I just need to crit him once. It is not too scary. Although if I do get unlucky, it would have taken a lot longer. Luckily, I got lucky, which is exactly how that sentence works. Luckily, I got lucky. So the only problem I can see here is the Neandam. I didn't yeah. So he's going to wipe out everything with one blow. Dang. Dang. Yeah, he's pretty tanky for him to survive a hit like that. Boom. Only thing is he is attacking the enemy base, which is really not splendid. So since these bosses come one at a time, I'm actually just going to draw him. And I can't perma-stall him since I'm, you know, making a video. So I'll just wait out that attack. Then won't be too hard. Oh, you know who I should have brought? Metal Cat. Okay, Metal Cat is kind of good everywhere. Anything that'll survive a guaranteed 12 hits is very rare. Like, even good tanks, most part, they will die to, like, a few hits on an oncoming horde. So, boom, I'll let you wipe that out, and then I'll just send out Izu, and then send you, you. Alright, Izu has a very fast cooldown, not too worried about losing him. Alright, just try and stack some damage while I can. Boom. All right. I did manage to... Ooh. Okay. So, just keep it moving. We've got this. Just gotta keep spamming them. I didn't bring anything for Neandam, because he is an enemy that you don't really need to counter. Like, every... Like, he, he'll wipe out all of my front line, but then I can just rebuild it, because normal couriers and can-cans will eventually finish him off. <laughs> I do think, though, that the next Izu will do the job. So, boom. Not really any point in me sending out meat shields. And he died. All right, look at that. So, I believe the next one might be the Borofin. So, I'm just going to start sending out Sanzos in preparation for that. I don't think there's any other wave enemies. Oh, no. There is going to be the giant turkey. That giant turkey is pretty bad. Oh, there's also him. There's also him. Okay. So, red enemies typically not bad, even if you don't have anti-reds. But, good. Okay. Slow. I need to keep him slowed. So, boom. I will be sad about losing Izu if he dies. But, I have Courier, who is essentially the same amount of damage against reds anyways. So, boom. Alright. Um. Boom. Boom. Alright. Looking pretty good. He died. All right. So send out you guys. Send out you because if I do fight that Borofim, he has slow versus Borofim. So I don't ever need to send out Catasaurus again. No, I hate you, Zamel or Camel. I hate you either way. All right. So he is going to be annoying to fight because he can knock them back before they even land a hit no he's bullying the fish why would you bully a fish he can't even walk okay good 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 this is good all right i managed to kill him and i still have a backliner i don't want to activate the next boss too fast if it is borofim uh, oh floating no he is not floating okay never mind I just had a brain fart. He is not a floating enemy. I guess I thought that because he is a bird. So, boom. Just got to keep going. All right. Izu is not doing anything right now. I mean, it is 14k strength in DPS. But still, like, for what it's worth, it's not actually doing too much. Boom. All right. Ah, uh, this guy cannot be stalled unless you have three meat shields. I am not going to do this stage again, I'll be honest. If I have to waste unnecessary cat food, I will. Oh, but he might do this. Alright. Dallasan, you are critical hitting like crazy right now. You can keep that up. So, boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Dallas Sand, Dallas Sand, live, live, do it, do it. Yes? No, okay, one more time, one more time. Let's go for that one more time, Dallas Sand. Boom. All right, he lived, he lived. I, he's not going to live for too much longer. A sniper is not built with that much health. All right, send out a courier just to tank a hit. Boom. I don't know if he's missing anymore. Okay. Honestly, I have money. I really couldn't, like, be bothered to do that again. So, boom. Usually, I just do it again, and then I don't fail. But since my videos are typically pretty long, and not everyone has the time for those kinds of things, and I want everyone to be able to watch my videos, which is all excuses for me spending cat food on this, I'll just do it like this, even though this is a very easy stage if you do it right. So, boom. All right, just very tricky stages, that's it. So, boom. I've got this done, basically. Yeah, Borfim should be the last one. He was the only one I don't remember that I remember that hasn't come out yet. So, boom, he's weakened. Doesn't really matter too much. All right, I've got Dasly, Izu. Well, Rip Izu. I had him. And Dallasan working on him. Dasly and Dallasan are just, you know, their names even sound good together. Like, they were always meant to be. So, boom. All right, he does get strengthened, or is that only the black one? Luckily, good thing about Dallasan... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I don't think he has long range, but he did. So, boom, just got to keep working on it. This... Oh, there was another one. Oh, it's just this guy. Luckily, I think Dallasan targets floating. Yeah, it's kind of surprising to me, because I knew he targeted angels, but I didn't know he targeted floating. It's really not about that, though. He's like Can Can, actually, where it's like they're just there for the amount of damage they can deal and how well they deal it. And then that's kind of an add on. I really hope he does get a true form because like with units like Phonoa, you know, they're not going to get a true form. He's too OP already. But with a Dragon Emperor, even though they're a really good Dragon Emperor, I have hope. So boom. All right. So I'm hoping for a Savage Blow. Boom, all right. So, going well. Izu is going ham right now. And it's over, I believe. Hopefully. I It would be annoying if something showed up at one health, but I would not I would be surprised. So, boom. And it's over, finally. It took a long time, but we beat Twilight Zephyr, Zephyr. And now, for the last stage of The Legend Ends, Unkept Prop... Ugh, unkempt promises. You do have to spend an energy for this. Most people at this point of the game might not have full energy treasures up to that point. I did. And what is it for this match? You just have to destroy the base as quickly as you can. So, I just need to throw in like the highest DPS monsters I have. So, looks good. Um, Is there anything else I could add? You have to beat it within a certain amount of time. Granted, it is a gracious amount of time. I am just going to start stacking this Darth Laser. And sorry if it, you can hear it in the video, but my neighbors are being so loud. So, boom. You are actually true form now, too. And let's do this. Just got to beat this stage. So, boom. Yeah. So, 10 million base health. You just got to beat it. So, I'm just going to send out all of these dps monsters because i can very easily stack them in this match all right just gotta wait for them to make it to the enemy base all right funnily enough can can is a fast unit but i don't have her speed treasures because i don't want to have to get it i don't want to get it until i have to because you can't undo a talent you can only add it so boom throw you out there he is really the biggest thing that'll chip down at this. All right. Going to get some heavy hitters in there. Darth Laser has crazy DPS. Plus, if I stack enough of them, I get to see the wave. So, boom. All right. 
yeah, this is just, this is it. This is the end of Stories of Legends. Two stars. There is actually a very difficult boss that follows this match. This is kind of like the throwaway before the boss. You know, just to kind of tease you. Because that boss I actually really struggled with. Um, but I already completed it two stars because it was a match that it really... Okay, that Bun Bun was so strong that it didn't matter how strong he was like he could one shot everything unless you froze him anyways so you really could just do it at a higher difficulty if you could manage to freeze him right sadly that was a lot easier said than done so boom just got multiple dark lasers going to work all right i wonder if i will do this in time i think should all right, there's nothing with base destroyer other than warlock and pierre the first time i did this i sent them out first and they made it to there and they just went ham but i really don't know if it was enough so i just decided to be safe because this match really gives you no money i mean there's no enemies to kill how would it give you money so boom and almost in time for another bahamut too we destroy the bait oh no oh never mind i am legend too all right 30 cat food i have completed stories of legends two stars and i have gotten my platinum ticket let me just take the screenshot for the thumbnail and boom all right that feels so good so platinum ticket one of the best rewards in the game now i actually have two platinum tickets i'm working on my third and fourth why am i stacking them up i really want dark phonoa because I just checked my seed and I won't be getting him out of Epic, like Super Fest, which is coming soon, anytime soon. So, with that being said, I am Legend. Just gonna take another photo for this thumbnail. And that's about it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It helps this video so much. It tells me that you enjoyed it and it helps my video get around to other people who might also enjoy it. The support means the world to me. It tells me that you're liking the content and it just, it means a lot. Um, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. How would you have beat these stages? I know I'm super, super lucky to have as many broken units as I have, even before I started seed tracking. So tell me if you think you'll be able to beat these stages without having all of these broken Ubers that I have and what you would have done. And I'd just love to hear your comments, your thoughts in the comments down below. Please subscribe to join the Crab Army. We are growing rapidly. We have hit 500 subscribers way before my goal of Halloween. And it means a lot to me. And I just want to keep growing with you guys. I'm going to keep making content. And I hope you guys keep enjoying it and coming back for the next one. So thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. That's all the support I need. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have an amazing day. And I hope to see you in the next one. That's about it for the video. Your favorite Omnius Crab.